Hey, good morning. I want to say hi to all my kids in my class. Uh, Miss Vivian, Miss Faith, Logan, Savannah, Quentin, and Kenzie. I'm just glad hopefully you'll be able to see this lesson this morning today. And I just want to start off in prayer. I know usually we have prayer requests, and usually Miss Faith has a prayer request for her mom um, and Savannah for her, her parents. And we'll just pray for uh, everyone today. And so we'll bow our heads and close our eyes, and we'll have a prayer. And so, dear Lord, we just thank you for today. Lord, we just thank you for watching over us and taking care of us. Lord, I just thank you for my kids. Lord, I just um, want to ask prayer for Miss Chaya, Lord, and for Melissa, too. We always usually pray for her, Lord, as they're expecting. Lord, we just ask you to give them safety and uh, when, during the pregnancy and keep them healthy, Lord, and that they don't get sick. And Lord, also for Savannah, usually we pray for her dad and mom, Lord, and um, we just pray for all the kids and the families, Lord, and we just thank you that uh, everyone is healthy so far through this uh, virus time, Lord, and uh, just help us to learn our lesson and to um, think of you and to always look to you, Lord, for, um, for protection, Lord, and uh, in Jesus' name, amen. So next week is Easter. And so today we're going to talk about the week before uh, Easter, the things that went on uh, with Jesus during that time. And we're going to talk about um, the triumphant entry to Jerusalem that Jesus took. And so here's a picture that we have. It talks about, uh, we're going to learn about Jesus today, what, what he did, and the um, miraculous the miracle that took place and we need to start off as do we remember to thank God for taking care of us each and every day especially in this time right now with this virus going on we need to always it's a scary time but we need to trust in God that he will take care of us he is good to us and he does wonderful things for us each and every day so we need to think of all the different things that we have and all the things that he does for us each and every day, even the little small things. So we're talking about in uh, the Bible here, the Jewish people, they had a celebration to help them remember what God had done for them. They called this time Passover. And Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. And as Jesus traveled, he chose two of his disciples to go into the town to get a little donkey. And decide, the disciples wondered, hey, where is this donkey going to come from? Are we going to need any money to buy him? So Jesus told them, just as you enter into the town, you'll see a young donkey, one that has never been ridden. And this is very specific. This is very... Um, this is where the miracle happens. So the donkeys usually, when they're young, they have never been ridden and they're kind of wild and they will buck and jump. But we're gonna find out what this donkey did. So the donkey said, he said, the donkey will be tied up and then tie him and bring him to me. And if anyone there asks what you're doing, just say, hey, the Lord needs him. So the disciples followed Jesus and uh, obeyed Jesus, and they went. And soon as they come into the town, they found that little donkey. Like Jesus said, tied at the doorway. And as they untied the donkey, as Jesus said, there was a man. And the man is over here on the side looking through his doorway. And he said, hey, what are you doing with my donkey? And as Jesus told them to tell the man, they said, Jesus the Lord needs the donkey. And just like that, the owner seemed to know exactly what the disciples were talking about. So they, the man let the disciples take the donkey. So Jesus wanted to use that donkey for a special purpose. He had plans um, to use that donkey just as Jesus has plans for us each day. 
He wants us to obey and be kind and cheerful to people so we can see Jesus living in us. So as Jesus and the disciples were together, Jesus brought the donk they brought the donkey to Jesus where he was. Then the disciples threw their coats. You can see their coats on the donkey there. And Jesus rode on the coats. So this donkey, like I said, was just a young donkey. And he had never been ridden before. But Jesus made the donkeys, right? He made all the animals. He made everything. So it seemed like the donkey knew Jesus, which he did. So the donkey didn't jump or kick. He didn't do anything. He just sat there and let Jesus get on him. And Jesus rode the donkey. And after he... And after Jesus got on the donkey, there were some people along the way, and they took off their coats and laid them on the ground. And also, they had palm, palm limbs, which you can see on this picture here, big long limbs with leaves on them. They're called palm tree limbs. So they waved the limbs and also they laid them on the ground too, and they were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hail to the King. So as Jesus rode, that's what he heard as he rode through the streets. Suddenly, someone cried out, there's Jesus. Jesus is coming this way. Many people heard of the wonderful miracles that Jesus had done, and they gathered in the streets to meet him. They knew Jesus was very special. Many people thought Jesus was coming to be their king, but he was that wasn't God's plan. He was ultimately the king, but he was going to be our savior, to save us from our sins. But some people didn't realize that Jesus was the Messiah, the special one, the son of God, who had been promised long before to forgive them of their sins. So after Jesus rode, through the streets of Jerusalem, he and his 12 disciples went to a, a, a room upstairs where they sat together and ate a special Passover meal. Jesus knew that this would be his last time on earth, last night on earth. So he told his disciples that he would soon leave them and they felt very sad. But as Jesus sat at the table, his heart filled with sadness too. He knew that one of his disciples would betray him. Judas Iscariot was one of them, was the one. He didn't really love him. He only pretended to love him. So Jesus also knew that soon Judas would tell his enemies where they could find Jesus. So Jesus looked at his disciples and said, One of you will betray me. And the disciples, they were very sad. They were like, Am I the one? They kept asking Jesus, am I the one? And Jesus said, is one of the 12 that is eating with us now? So Jesus leaned close to, Je uh, John leaned close to Jesus and whispered to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus showed him by dipping some bread into a sauce and handed it to Ju Judas. Then Judas looked at Jesus and asked, Master, is it I? So Jesus answered him and said, yes. And what are you going to do? Go and do it quickly. So Jesus knew that Judas would do what he did, but he still loved Judas. And he knows everything. Even before we do it, Jesus knows what we're doing. So Jesus finished the last supper, which is the last dinner that he had with his disciples. Quickly, and quietly he said to his disciples, I will soon be going from him, away from you, and I want you to remember what I have done for you. So Jesus told his disciples many things about himself. And do you know why God is the Son? Jesus came to earth from heaven. And why he was born as a baby and grew up to be a man. God had a very special reason for Jesus to be on earth. Remember, God created the heavens and the earth, and he created everything, the animals. But we are his special creation. 
And God wants us to obey him and serve him. God did not forget about his people, though. He wanted to make a way for us to be able to go to heaven and to live with him. And for us to be able to, a way for us to, our sins to be forgiven. Which are the bad things that we do. They may be small to us, but anything that we do, like disobeying our parents or fighting with your brothers or sisters or um, any little thing that is not pleasing to God is called a sin. And we can always, if we have Jesus in our heart and ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, we can always go to him and ask him to forgive us for our sins. Jesus knew that his time on earth was nearly over, and he knew that his enemies were making plans to kill him. The disciples tried to listen carefully to all that Jesus had said, but they just did not understand what was about to happen. So they walked with Jesus through the streets of Jerusalem and into the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus wanted to pray. He knew that this was almost the time for him to do the very special thing that God had sent him to earth to do. So, in closing up, we need to remember that Jesus died for our sins and he is our true Savior and that he loves us and takes care of us. And we need to remember that next week is Easter and that is when Jesus died, but he did raise from the, from the grave victorious. And we can always turn to him whenever we are scared or we do anything wrong, especially in this time right now when we're sick. People may be sick or possibly get sick. We just need to ask God to protect us and to take that fear away from us. So I hope that you learn and enjoy this lesson, Lord. I know, I know you probably are very familiar with this from previous and from especially if you've been in church for a little bit, that you will know and remember this little story about how Jesus um, came down to die for us. And next week is Easter, so we will hopefully learn about what Jesus did and how he rose from the grave. So I'm going to pray now, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. So we'll go ahead and pray and we'll be finished. Dear Lord, I just thank you again for this opportunity to um, talk to the kids and when we're not able to be together uh, during this time. Lord, just help us to remember that you are in control and that you take care of us. And Lord, just be with uh, the kids, Lord, and just help them to have no fear and to, if they do, just to look to you and just to remember that you know everything and that you, uh, before even anything happens, Lord, and that you protect us through everything. In Jesus' name, amen.